What's up everyone? I'm back and I'm bringing you guys another book review this time. And I'd have to say this is probably my favorite book I've read in the past five years since I've started reading again. It has taught me so much and made me learn a lot of new things. So let's get right into it. The book is called The Way of the Superior Man. And this sounds very sexist and in a lot of bad ways it sounds pretty bad but this book's by David Dieda, Dieda and he talks a lot about just masculine essence and having being the best version of your masculine self if you have masculine tendencies first thing he talks about in this book is finding out if you are if you do have masculine tendencies or if you're feminine or if you're in the middle which most people aren't i think he says only 10 percent are so i think most likely you're on either spectrum and whether you're a guy or a girl it doesn't matter as long as you know what she what you have either the feminine or masculine essence and in this he talks a lot about uh sexual tendencies and what we want as humans, our desires, what women want, and what we need to give them as the man or the masculine essence in the relationship. He talks a lot about uh, polarity in relationships, whether it be uh, if I am with a girl, one of us has to have the masculine essence and one of us has to have the feminine, and we have to have the full polarity there to make it work. And I think that is very true. But he talks about that without this, we're just becoming androgynous or intermixed, which is not good in the relationship side. It works in the everyday real world right now because it's a lot of a lot of what's been going on recently with uh, men becoming more feminine and women becoming more masculine in certain instances. But it talks about just knowing that in the bedroom you need to you need to know if you're the one who wants to get dominated or the one who do wants to dominate. And your partner should be the opposite of that. And unless it's, you're the 10%, which I'm assuming most of us aren't. And he just talks about the true desire of most women and why us superior men, masculine men or masculine essences need to give that to feminine essences or women in the relationship. Uh, one big thing that I took away was just being there and being in the presence with a girlfriend or fiance or any relationship that you're in, your wife. And I found that from this book, I've gained a new perspective on relationships as a whole. But in general, I always look to see what I need to do to better myself in the masculine essence and what, what am I giving her that she needs or what am I not giving enough of and with that being said the being there uh, when you're there try to talk to your wife girlfriend try to be there don't watch the TV don't sit there and be on your phone sit there if you're talking to her for 30 minutes out of your day even if it's just once a week it's better to her than just hearing you talk or while you're just on your occupied by other things. She wants you fully attentive to her, listening in on her to know what she wants and her needs. And she wants you to respond to those and give her those. One huge thing I took away in the book was women and their true desires or feminine essences. Uh, it talks about men having that goal in life. They just, or masculine essences having that goal in life and just wanting to pursue that goal, whether it's their job or whatever their true passion is. And women have the more tender, loving, want to be a family. Feminine essence has that with a tender, loving family, caring and trying to be with that. So the, the masculine essence and the feminine essence don't match up in their goals, but you can make them really work well together. And one of the biggest desires of women or feminine essences is the desire to just relax and be free for however long. So whether it's uh, your girlfriend, your wife's birthday, your anniversary, something like that, you wanna give them a special night. They don't wanna hear 
oh, it's up to you. Uh, you know, they don't want to hear that from the masculine essence. They don't want to hear, we can do whatever you want. They want the freedom of knowing that you planned everything out and have it all set up, ready to go. They want to wake up and have their whole day planned out so they can just relax and not have to worry about planning. Because whether you know it or not, as the masculine essence in the relationship, you're most likely getting a lot of care and planning done from the feminine essence without you even realizing because she or whoever is doing so much for you in that relationship. Another thing that I liked in the book was uh, talking about ejaculation and the male's desire to uh, ejaculate and just you come in, it's no further more than that. It's just you do it and you're done. We've been taught our whole lives, whether it's by watching inappropriate things like porn or anything like that, you get into the mindset of you just do it to be done. But he talks about uh, ejaculating through the spine or through your body and your soul and feeling it uh, not necessarily like full like ejaculation, but feeling your body like when you're with your partner, breathing with them and uh, feeling what they want instead of just going to your own beat and uh, I guess ejaculating when you want to. And instead of just breathing and going through the motions with her or the feminine essence in that, in this instance. The big thing in that he talks about is the way that we talk about our our ejaculation or the way we feel after. You always feel like a little pain or misery, like like you're not a good person after you do it, just a quick one and you try and feel better about yourself or think it'll make you feel better at all. But we all know that it doesn't on the inside and out. So he talks about just knowing what your body needs and what her body needs, the feminine essence and the masculine essence and bringing those together and putting them into one and breathing doing everything together and working through each other's bodies instead of working only on your own. And I thought that was a very intriguing point that he made. This was another book that was recommended by a friend, shout out Mac. Uh, thank you very much for making having me read this. I enjoyed it so much. I read it pretty quick. I just haven't gotten a review out on it, but this has just changed my life in many ways and hopefully my future wife's life a lot because I recommend anyone who, whether you're male or female, if you're in a relationship and you have the masculine essence, I recommend reading this. The Way of the Superior Man, it's a great book. It teaches you many lessons inside and out. Whether you take them in or not, I think it's a good read either way. Uh, on my scale, I'd say it is a 10 out of 10. It taught me many different lessons throughout the whole book. They're little two page to eight page chapters. They're really nice and short. They teach you lessons in between each. It's a great book. Definitely recommend reading. Uh, talks a little more about sexuality and stuff like that, but he has a lot of books with that. So I think he's a very good author in that instance, or in that case, I think he's very good and I should read more of his books. But definitely recommend go getting this book. It's amazing. And hopefully have more book reviews and other reviews coming out. Anthony will be on the channel again hopefully soon. Uh, we love you guys very much. Thank you for sticking to the end if you made it. Uh, if you made it to the end, comment, comment your favorite thing to do on a Tuesday night as of currently. I want to know who's really listening and who's really watching. Uh, we love you guys very much and thank you for supporting. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.